Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to install a uh, Debian here from scratch, uh, on Burt Manager, all the way over to the GNOME desktop environment. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna type in download Debian, right? And hold on, I was changing my music. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I'm recording the same music at the same time. Auto call isn't that bad, huh? At least I didn't think it was. Okay, so now, um, let's go ahead and go to download Debian. Now, uh, unofficial installers with not free firmware. Let's do this one. This one usually gives. You know the best hope for doing stuff like this uh let's see here okay so here's the link we're at cd image .org. cd images unofficial non-free this includes the non-free firmware turn down the latest one uh this one plus non-free We'll go to this one. We want the AMD 64. For all that I don't know, uh, AMD 64, even though you don't have an AMD, you still use it because AMD, well, it was one of the first 64 bit processors on the mainstream public market. So they use that as the name. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and go to, uh, let's do an ISO DVD. Why not? It sounds like that would be bigger. Might have what we need. Uh, firmware free. This is 3.7 gigs now. Uh, wow. Okay, that's pretty big. Anyway, let's go ahead and download this. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my server here. So, we're gonna make some, I have to do some navigating here to get in the right spot. And T. I'm gonna go ahead and save it here. It's gonna be uh, I'm gonna call it Debian, Debian like that, and I'm gonna go ahead and save it. So, if all goes well, it's gonna be saving. Make sure I'm gonna go downloads. Okay, three minutes left. It's not that bad. It's going pretty quick. Although I'm not seeing anything now. Let's go on here. Maybe F5 to refresh. Okay, whatever. It's downloading, right? So then, while it's downloading, the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and SSH X because I'm gonna be installing this remotely. Now I'm gonna be doing Burt Manager over my server. Right here, right? I'm gonna go ahead and file a new virtual machine. And then we'll go ahead and manual install. I'm gonna type in Debian and it's gonna say Debian 11 here. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I want to use a 32 core. I want to use oh, for my memory. Let's go ahead and use uh, 32 gigabytes for cores. Let's go ahead and use half my cores. Why not? Uh, 32. Thirty-two gigs, uh, and for this, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, use like a two hundred gig uh, disk image for the for the machine. Next, uh, W eleven. Uh, yeah, we'll customize that before install. Yes, we want to start that network up. Uh, we want to go ahead and do a UEFI on this. People like this, we're gonna apply that. And then we'll go ahead and go ahead and I'm gonna add a disk drive here. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and go to CD-ROM. It's still gonna be the SATA type. I'm gonna go ahead and select. Uh, and then this is gonna be my operating systems folder. I'm gonna look for that Debian. Uh, still not seeing her here. Okay, so we still got some time left on this. It was hauling ass when I first started. Now it's a little slower. 
so I guess they're just gonna wait a little bit longer until she pops up here. Oh, uh, on the bus right here where it says Vert IO. Uh, now I'm not sure if it's gonna go ahead and include that off the bat. So to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and do SATA right here, right? And I'm gonna do a butt. Okay, we waited some time now. Let's go ahead and do that again. Get back to get back to this part. Gonna go ahead and add new hardware again. Let me get back in here. Storage controller. Select uh, CD-ROM setup. Select this here, um, and then let's go ahead and go into Debian. Okay, so I'm gonna browse local because sometimes that thing doesn't update. Alright, should we do the update? It might do it now. Okay, there we go. DVD right here. So select like that one. Click finish on that. Uh, we're gonna go to boot options. Click this one. Make sure that uh, the SATA disk and the boot menu is enabled. And then we got this. This we got our, our network our network set up. A uh, video vert IO. Well, it put it there default. Let's go ahead and see if we can keep it like that. Sometimes the Burt IO video doesn't like to go, but we'll give it a try since that automatically there. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah, did not initialize display yet. So, force off. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, it's starting. Um, there we go. So right here, where it says, go ahead and choose a graphic install. Okay, and we're on to uh, Debian 11 here. I'm going to go ahead and do next. United States, American English. Okay. Right here for the password. Let's go ahead and pull my public password. Use your input USR. USR there. And the same password for the root. Tap it out. Gonna go over central time since that's what they're in.
We're going to use the entire disc here. That 200 gig drive we made. Uh, all files in one partition. Recommended. Why not? Uh, let's write the partition changes to disk. Yes, we want to write them to the disk. All right, it's formatting the partitions. Okay, and it's going to go ahead and start installing the base system right now. This is what I'm going to... Well, let's see. If it takes too long, I'll pause the video. If not, I'll just let it keep going. Looks like it might not take that long. Okay, it says... Uh, Do you wish to scan for another media installation? I'm going to put no... Uh, do you want to use a network mirror? Yeah, let's try it out. Let's go ahead and do United States, Debian. No, I'm not going to use a proxy. Okay, so unreliable network connection. We're just gonna go ahead and continue with that I'm here. And we're just gonna keep going there. Okay, so do you want to part participate in packet survey? I'm going to click no. Now it's going to move on to the select install software part. We're going to do Debian, GNOME, standard system utilities, and SSH server.
Okay, so as you can see, the installation finished. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And it's going ahead and booting up again. And I'm going to go ahead and do that a force off. Tell me again. Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and switch up the boot menu. Actually, just remove this. Uh, CD-ROM device. Uh, check the boot options. Make sure that's there. Do a force on. And as you can see, we are uh, right here in the GNOME environment. Type in the password, press enter real quick. Get a confirmation on this. And that's it. We're in the uh, GNOME desktop environment. Let's go ahead and just search for the terminal. And we're in. Uh, that's it. If you liked the video, like and subscribe. Buy me a cup of coffee. Out.